For those of you with a Valve Steam Deck, or if you're waiting to get your hands on one, I hope this video is of help to you getting files, like ROMs or whatever you want, transferred wirelessly from your Windows PC to the Steam Deck with very little effort. Quick and simple and easy to get set up. So recently I did a few videos talking about emulation, testing a few different retro consoles on the Steam Deck. And in one of those videos, I mentioned how I started using SyncThing to transfer files from my PC to the Steam Deck and how it was pretty simple and easy and where I tried a few other methods and nothing was working for me. So a few people had asked, can you do a tutorial? So no BS, we're gonna be jumping right into it. I have a couple little tips and tricks I'm gonna throw in here, hopefully make things a little easier for you. But we are in the Steam Deck right now. I am capturing footage from it. I have it docked. The official dock is not out yet, but you can use other docks. And I will mention the one I'm using in a moment here. But since we're talking Windows, let's go ahead and go to our Windows PC. If you're following along, go to syncthing.net forward slash downloads. I'll put a link down below, make it quick and simple and easy for you. But as we're talking Windows, I downloaded the Windows version. So download that and then you're gonna have an executable, right? The syncthing.exe, go ahead and run that. You're gonna have this little window pop up and then it's gonna open up a tab in your browser showing the device, the PC that you are using. And then it's gonna have remote devices down here. We don't have a remote device set up. So essentially this is our user interface for everything we're gonna to wanna to do, uh, you know, with SyncThing as far as sharing folders, transferring stuff, all that good stuff. So now we need to go to the Steam Deck and essentially do the same thing. And then there's like one other step we have to do. Couple steps, quick and easy. But before we jump over there, the adapter, the USB hub I'm using is this Belkin USB-C hub, four in one, has two USB 3.0 ports, and then it has the USB-C uh, power delivery port, and then the HDMI 1.4 port. It's all I really need. I'm waiting for the Steam one, the official one to come out. Don't know how much that's gonna cost. They said it's gonna come out like end of spring maybe, but who knows for sure. But the way this works is you take this end up here, the USB-C plug, put it into your Steam Deck. There's only one USB-C port on the Steam Deck. Plug that in, plug your power cable for the Steam Deck into the USB-C power delivery port. Your two USB 3.0s you could use for controllers, keyboard and mouse, whatever you want. The Steam Deck does have Bluetooth, so you can just wirelessly sync things if you need. And then plug in whatever display, or if you're capturing footage like I'm doing, plug that HDMI into the HDMI port. This adapter is 50 bucks. I've seen a few that were recommended that are like $150, $200. I'm like, nah, I ain't jumping into it like that. I saw like one or two that were a little cheaper that people recommended, but they were like no-name brands I never heard of type of thing. I went with this one, and it works for me. It's pretty small easy to use, just explained how it works. But once you plug all that in, boom, you could use your Steam Deck like a desktop, right? So let's go ahead and go back to the Steam Deck. Now, once you boot up your Steam Deck, this process, the reason I'm doing it this way instead of in handheld mode is it just is so much easier using an external keyboard versus the on-screen keyboard. The first time I did this, I used it in handheld mode and it was a pain in the butt to do. So with an external keyboard, a lot easier. Now, we wanna to get to the desktop on the Steam Deck. You could either press the power button on the, the Steam Deck, you could press the Steam button, or you could press escape on a keyboard. Either way, you're gonna go down to power, or if you just press the power button, it should just bring this up right here, and then just go down to switch to desktop. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now we're on our desktop within the Steam Deck. Now, if you have it docked with a USB hub, I'll put a link in the description for the one I'm using. Uh, if you have display issues where the primary display is on the Steam Deck or you're not getting anything on your external monitor, that kind of thing, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go down to the system settings right here. Just click on that, give it a second to come up, and then scroll down on this side to display and monitor. Now bring that up. Laptop screen is going to be the Steam Deck screen, and then open that up, the device, uh, whatever your other screen is, the external monitor, capture card, that's gonna be the second one. So on the Steam Deck, I have it just clicked enabled. I don't have it clicked as primary and it's not a replica of anything. And then on the screen that I'm using that I'm staring at is gonna be enabled and then primary and a replica of none. You can replicate the screens, do it however you want. For me, 
this works fine. I have no issues. So that's how you do that. Now to download sync thing for the Steam Deck, we're gonna wanna go to the Discover uh, app or software center, whatever you wanna call it. Open that up, let it load for a second, and then go to your search bar up here. Now, if you're in handheld mode, to bring up the keyboard, if you have to use the on-screen keyboard, you're gonna press your Steam button and your X button at the same time. It'll bring up your little Steam keyboard, but for me, typing on this, it's kind of wonky, doesn't work that great, so I don't like using it. It works fine in the uh, Steam OS, like when you're searching for games, but in, in the uh, desktop mode, not so much. So in that search bar up there, simply what we're gonna do is type in sync thing. Hit enter, let it search, sync thing GTK. Go ahead and install that. And give that a moment. Now that we have sync thing installed on the Steam Deck, all we have to do is launch it. If you're still in the Discover Center, you can launch it from up top from that application. If you already have that closed out, you can go to the application launcher icon on the bottom left corner there, click on it, go to internet, and then it should be listed. Open it up and you're gonna be greeted to a window of a bunch of stuff that looks pretty identical to what we saw on the Windows PC, but now we need to get them to communicate together to share folders. To do that, we're gonna click the little gear icon up here and then go to show ID. Now we're gonna get that big long string of text, numbers and letters. We need to copy that into the PC side of things. You can scan that QR code on your phone and it will give you that text. You'd copy it, email it to yourself, open up that email so you have access to that big long code. However you gotta do it to get that code into the PC side of things, that's how you're gonna get them to communicate. So let's jump back over to the desktop with this code to get them synced. So back on our Windows PC on sync thing, we're gonna go to the bottom right here where it says add remote device and we're gonna put in that device ID that we copied, wrote down, whatever we did. Right now it's also showing a nearby device, which is, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing, but I'm gonna go ahead and paste in what I wrote down or copied. Click save and it says it's disconnected, but give it a moment and we should get synced together. So let's go ahead and go back to the Steam Deck side. And here we go on the Steam Deck side, the PC is popping up. So it's asking us to add it. We're gonna go ahead and click add and it's gonna bring all that up and then click save. It's showing the shared share folders, home, deck, sync. I'm gonna go ahead and click save on that. That's the default folder. Now we should be pretty much done. It's gonna ask us to share that folder on the desktop. So let's go back over there. So on this side, it brought up that default folder. Do you wanna share this? Now we can set up other folders to share if we want, if we don't wanna use that default, how it's set up. On our Windows PC, it's gonna be listed here, folder path, and it's gonna be that sync folder that has whatever you're sharing in it. So to set up a new one, we could just add folder. Now the most important thing here is just whatever the folder is called, it doesn't matter. It's gonna create that down here wherever you want it or how it's set up right there. As long as the folder ID matches on both systems, it's gonna share between the two. So you do the same thing, add a folder. On the other side, make sure it has the same folder ID if you wanna set up a different one, right? But there we go. We have the folders shared on both ends. Now, right here, I have my sync folder on my PC and I'm sharing the uh, an NES and Super Nintendo folder with a bunch of ROMs, but I'm gonna add another one. And we're gonna go ahead, let me show you on the Steam Deck side, what our share folder looks like. Go ahead and click add. If it asks you to add, save it. It's just sharing the folders. We just gotta confirm on both sides pretty much, right? But down here in our folder explorer, file ex manager, whatever you wanna call it, uh, that folder is in home and then it's in sync. So we have the NES and Super Nintendo folders shared. They just kinda like sync together boom, transferred over, but back on the PC side, let's go ahead and put another folder into the sync folder. So I'm gonna take this uh, Dreamcast folder, which just has a couple uh, files for the BIOS. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the sync. Now it should just like pretty much quickly add that because it's a very small file. 
So let's see on this side. There you go. It popped up almost instantaneously. It shared it. So we have those in that home sync folder. You can move them around wherever you want. If you got MUDEX set up, your emulation folder, wherever that is, you could you know move things around. If you need to open up an additional window, you can go ahead and on your Steam Deck, it's going to be the um, the left trackpad. You click it, and you can go ahead and type or click open a new window, and it will open up a new window of whatever you selected. And you can easily just transfer around uh, whatever you need. If you got to get to the sync folder here. And then the emulation folder here with our BIOS. You can open that up, copy this over type of thing, and move it or copy it, whatever we want. Write info, overwrite. I already have it on there, but same files. But you, you get the drift. Sharing folders, very simple stuff, my friends. If you have any questions, let me know. Just use that code that is up in the little gear icon, show ID, get that code, copy it into add remote device on your Windows PC, and then just accept whatever pops up. Make sure it's the desktop that you're using, it's the Steam Deck, add it, authorize it on both devices, and then you're up and sharing your files and folders easily and quickly. So, I know this video went on a little longer than I hoped, but I wanted it to be thorough, as best as I could to describe everything. And there it is, man. That's the way I'm getting everything set up. Really do appreciate you guys hanging out. Any questions, drop them down below. Thank you. Bye.